nigga, we made it. Hey YouTube, Urban Red next here, and today we're going to be talking about how to do a Texas rig. Now this is basically the simplest rig to do and the easiest way and most popular. So first up, you're gonna need an incline hook or an offset bend hook. Basically, this is an incline hook. This is a three yard incline hook. And then basically an offset it just doesn't have this big bend, so it kind of come like that. Looks the same, it just doesn't stick down that much. Now this is basically a weedless rig. It's not 100%, but it's going to help you a lot. So, and then next thing you need is your bait. Today we have a Senko, just a regular stick worm. Well, you can do this to any soft plastic. Um, yeah, any soft plastic. Creatures, minnows, whatever you have. So, first up. You want to take the top of the soft plastic. So say you have a creature bait. Right here is all the appendages and all that stuff. You want to go up to the head. You want to take the hook. I'm going to try and see if I can do it close up. You want to take the hook. You want to put it in the middle of right around there. So you want to put it in the middle and push it down until it reaches about that where it starts to bend. And then take it and turn it out like that. So that way when you push it up. The hook's coming out at an angle. See that? That's what you want. You want the hook to be an angle, not straight. You want it to come out like an angle like that. And just take the soft plastic, take it, and then don't pull it. Just kind of twist it. Kind of like that. And then you'll see when you work with it. And then, so see how the eye, now obviously you're going to have, you're going to want to tie the hook on before you do this. So that way, see how the, the eye of the hook is embedded in that? So you'll have the knot and everything in there, and then that way it's virtually weedless and gets better action. Then see the notch right there on the back of the worm. Uh, some creature base not, might not have that, but all the worms do. I'm just going to show you today because I thought it was easier to show you for those of you that are just getting into fishing. You want to take this. You don't want to just push it in like that. So say it fits in like that, then you want to take it, push it back a little bit, and then... Kind of go up like that. And then there you go. See how it looks the same? And the hook's embedded in there, see? Right there. How it sticks out like that. So when you did it correctly, it should look like that. So the eye of the hook, and if you had line tied onto it, the line would be coming out of there if they're not hidden. So everything's all hidden, and it looks basically the weight without the hook. And then the hook's just sticking up a tiny bit. So that way when it's going through the weeds and stuff, it can't watch. I'll take my finger and it slides right over it. Right over it. Now, again, it's not 100% weedless. So, if you're going to take it, don't guarantee. I'm not going to guarantee you that you're not going to catch any weeds because sometimes when you take it through the wild casting, it might come out a little bit like that. And then if you put fish it in heavy weeds, you know, it's going to see how it kind of catches right there. What it's designed to do is when bass come and bite it. When they bite it, they're going to take it and they're going to like bite the end of it and then they're going to go to inhale it. So basically when largemouth bite, they're going to bite it a little bit and then pull it all the way into their mouth. So when they pull it all the way into their mouth, this is designed so when it feels that bite, see how it pops up? So that way it pops up when you set the hook. And I'm trying to catch a little bit on my finger right there. So, so right there, see how it's going to be caught like that? That's what it's going to look like. So basically when you get the largemouth back, to your boat this is going to be in its mouth and it's going to be all bunched up like that and then you know take out the hook and then you just take this and slowly push it back and it should fall right back into place like that now sometimes when you get into a big fight for big bass this will come all the way out and stuff sometimes it ruins the soft plastic sometimes it doesn't so if it does just take it out and restart so again all right now let's go over taking it out so when you pull it out, just bend the worm like that and it should come out. And take this again, don't rip it out or push it like that. You want to just take it and kind of twist it out. And it should come right out. And I'm trying to give you guys a visual. See how you can't really see a lot of ripping and stuff. So it's going to help keep your soft plastics alive a lot longer without ripping them and stuff. So you're going to get a lot more uses out of them. And all you need is just your basic little, uh, oh, I forget the name of it, the, uh, the incline hook. So you want an incline hook. Now, the way they say to measure it is 
take the hook like that, put it on the bait, and then have like if you're fishing a worm or something, have like a like half the bait sticking off of it. Now again, this hook might be a little small for this, but I'm just using it for an example. Or if you're fishing a creature bait, the body, you don't want the whole hook to be the size of the body and then the appendages and all the tails and stuff sticking up to the, that end. So that's basically the uh, Texas rig. Now you can fish it with a weight. We might post a video on how to tie up a simple bolt weight to do it, but that's a weightless Texas rig hook. It's weedless pretty much. And all you need is your bait. It, again, it could be any creature bait or stuff or worm. I just use a Senko for now. And uh, it's just a basic, basic little rig. So that's basically the easiest one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And like, comment, subscribe.